This is Block 9, The Liberal Establishment, Section 6, The Civil Rights Movement, with James Meredith. Um, another difficulty that was going on in the South was the integration of Southern colleges. Um, James Meredith, uh, pictured here uh, in the upper left and then flanked by these federal marshals in the other picture, uh, was an Air Force veteran. He was 28 years old, and he decided that he was going to um, attend the University of Mississippi, or Ole Miss. Um, he was violently prevented from registering from class uh, by university admissions people and by the other students at Ole Miss um, in 1962. President Kennedy, to his credit, sent 400 federal marshals and 3,000 National Guardsmen uh, to protect James Meredith's right uh, to attend classes. Uh, and James Meredith, uh, protected by federal marshals, um, went to class. And this is uh, an iconic picture that was taken. The, uh, the white students um, and many of the faculty at Ole Miss um, boycotted the classes that he had registered for. So James Meredith sat there with his textbook, sometimes with a professor, sometimes not, uh, and attempted to fulfill his his fundamental human right to educate himself. Um, you know, words. You know, words don't do a picture like this justice. That you know, the the, the racism of the American South in the 1960s was real. Uh, it was visceral, uh, and it the the courage of a man to sit there like that uh, and insist on you know his rights is is very powerful. And um, James Meredith was. Um, you know, just another said that the South was changing, and you know, white that the white Southerners were going to very many of them uh, were going to have to come kicking and screaming uh, down the road towards uh, equality for all American citizens.